3,000 years ago, a young shepherd named David walked the hilltop of Kirbet Kayapha, unintimidated by the taunts of Goliath, the giant whom he would later slay in the Elah Valley below. After David's ascendance to the throne, this same elevation, 30 kilometers from Jerusalem, became a strategic city along the border with Israel's arch enemy, the Philistines. Today, the remains of the ancient fortified city have become an archaeological dig site led by Professor Yosef Garfinkel, the Yigal Yadin Professor of Archaeology at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. During a recent press conference and field tour, Garfinkel presented his latest discoveries, sacred artifacts, evidence of Israel's devotion to God during the time of King David. The idea that you can see that we have no human or animal figurines at all in our sight. And this is in total different to Canaanite or to Philistine or Edomite or what we know in Mesopotamia in Egypt. Unlike the motifs found on the pagan cult objects of the same period, the absence of animal or human figurines not only strengthens the credibility of the biblical accounts of Israel's ancient religious practices, but is also evidence that the people of David's kingdom were living by these standards. The objects were discovered in special rooms within homes built directly into the walls of the city. The Holy Room was set apart, an early prototype of the Holy of Holies of Solomon's Temple. The room, the two models that I've showed you, came from this room over there, near the city gate. But let's look now at the, at the building. You see the wall here? It's running and abutting the, the city wall. The strategic positioning of these ancient rooms, both within the city walls and near the city gate, could indicate the preeminent role devotion to God factored into everyday Israeli life of 3,000 years ago. Walls and gates were prime property, places of authority and fortification, with a clear view to the advances of the enemy. Thanks to Garfinkel's work, obscure technical biblical terms apparently lost over the millennia now have new clarity. Designs etched into the sacred objects are consistent with the biblical descriptions of motifs. For example, the trigleaf or three-leaf structure also appears on columns of Solomon's temple. And what some translations refer to as windows, now from the artifacts are clearly distinguishable as triple recessed doors a design that appears in the biblical description of the Temple of Solomon and the heavenly temple of Ezekiel's vision. So what do the archaeological discoveries of Kirbet Kayafa do for the credibility of the Bible? This would give the biblical account really story. If it was just fantasies, so you will not find the evidence in archaeology, in archaeological finds that confirm it. That's, I think, the strength of our work. I cannot ignore the biblical text and I cannot ignore the archaeology. We need to work together. Marnie Blom, Axe News Network, Ela Valley, Israel. Axe News Network. From Jerusalem to the nation. This morning, Hamas fired a rocket that hit the school. What's really important? It's now 80% of the council's resolutions are against Israel. Visit Axe News Network. Accessible, informative, inspiring. Future peace negotiations, you know, Jerusalem is so central to the Jewish people. Celebrating life, preparing for war. Axe News Network, online with the Times.